The letter Z, you might have seen it there before, taking on a pro-war meaning in Russia. It's invading forces, displaying that symbol on its tanks, capturing public attention and raising some questions on social media. NBC News Now anchor Savannah Sellers is at the big board with some of that verified social media to show us how this symbol is spreading among the Russians. Hey, Savannah. Yeah, Allison, I was just going to point out it was actually just in yeah. that hit there. We're seeing it quite a bit. We're also going to explain to you how we confirm what that means. So we're using these images, of course, coming out of Ukraine to understand this true scale of devastation here, but a lot of what we're consuming is video from social media, and a lot of people have been talking about this Z, something they've seen quite a bit over the last few days. Check out this video, and you'll see the letter Z. There it is right there on the door of this car on Russian military vehicles. But get this. It's actually not a letter that even exists. It doesn't exist in Russia's alphabet, but now it's this pro-war symbol supporting President Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Now, we don't know exactly when this video was shot, but it was posted on March 1st. So that's some clues we're looking for. Now let's look at some videos verified. That's the keyword by NBC News. You're going to see the Z on it right there. Our social news gathering team goes through to figure out what's going on with this symbol. So here it's on Russian vehicles on the street in Kharkiv, Ukraine. I'm going to show you a still of that video of that Z on the back of this tank right here. Here it is right here. So you can see painted on the side, but here's something important to note. It's actually being searched right now by men in Ukrainian military form. So it's a really important question to ask yourself as you're seeing these videos. How do we know then that this is a Russian military vehicle in Ukraine? Well, that's where Sara Mahidli on our social news gathering team comes in. So she's going to start by actually geolocating this, just using Google Maps, the same tool that you have at home, to coordinates in Kharkiv to confirm that this is, in fact, in that city. So here's the street view map. This, of course, is what I want you to look at here. This store, this orange roof, that's shown in that video right here. That's how our team, there it is, was able to confirm where it is. And we already know from Ukrainian officials that the Russian military entered Kharkiv. Plus, we've seen videos like this one in other parts of, the, of Ukraine with Russian tanks painted with that letter Z. There it is on the side. You'll often see it on the front as well. This one was verified by our teammate Bianca Britton. This video was in Melitopol showing Ukrainian people pushing against the vehicles, in some cases even laying in front of these Russian vehicles. So again, those context clues that help us understand it's those Russian military vehicles. Now, it's not clear what the Z actually stands for exactly or how it came to mean what it does, but it's clear that it is a pro-Russia symbol. Part of the reason that we know that is because it's not just seen on these vehicles, we're also seeing it in Russia, painted in St. Petersburg, used in this Russian propaganda video that's going to come up right now. You'll see a still of it. See these Z's all on this T-shirt. This was broken down by a researcher at the Wilson Center, a nonpartisan think tank in Washington, D.C., to confirm exactly, you know, who these people in this video would be supporting. So as our social news gathering team keeps verifying these videos, we'll be looking out for the symbol. We'll be bringing you more because it's so important that we do verify before yeah. we're sharing these things on the Internet as individuals and, of course, before we're airing it here on NBC. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.